Martha McCallum joins us this Wednesday morning. Martha, does the American people, do the American people have the, uh, the, 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 the will to retain our superpower status? Well, I, I think that was laid out very well in terms of the challenges that we face. And I think what's interesting, in the Oval Office address the other night, the president essentially laid out the axis of evil. He talked about what we're facing against Iran and Russia and China. He didn't call it that because once you do that, as has been done by Kevin McCarthy and also Mitch McConnell, then you are saying it is essentially us and our allies against these forces. He also didn't take much time explaining how we got here. Mm. And, and clearly what has happened through Hamas and in Ukraine is intentional. Yep. So, so there's an intention to take this moment for their own reasons, and we can speculate about why this might be a good moment for all of this to happen. Um, but clearly, each of these players sees this as a moment of advancement, a moment when they can push the things that they want. And for Israel, it's very difficult because Iran wants them off the map. And they are now making an effort to squeeze them from, from the south and from the north. And you hear these college kids across the country talking about from the river to the sea. And do they understand that that means the elimination of Israel? We've watched peace processes happen over the years. And they've always come down to one thing. And that is that they won't sign any agreement on the Palestinian side that doesn't include the end of Israel. Right. So, so this is this, you know, and, and that does not mean that we can't keep two thoughts in our head at once. That that we have sympathy for the civilians who are suffering in the Palestinian territory because we do. But but there's a reason all of this axis of evil that and the economic weakness. All of this this is very intentional on the part of our enemies. I think you're right. Uh, a, a different subject here. What do you make of Governor Newsom, California governor? Mm. He's in China. He met with Xi Jinping. What's he doing there? Well, I think he wants to run for president. Oh, that's it. Okay. And I think, I, I and how that. could President Xi see it any other way? So the governor of California is coming to see me at a moment when there is enormous pressure on this president, the current president, Biden, when people all across the country are talking about, as Carl Rove just did in your lead up here, talking about the fact that he's old and is he capable of being the person in the center seat in the Oval Office, given what we are facing right now. And that's the question of this election. He can, you know, this president, whether people support him or not, is he the person to take us through the next four years? That's going to be the question that voters will have to decide. But, but he's trying to give them an alternative in China, clearly. He sure is. Now, yeah. did you notice that President Biden will not put his name on the New Hampshire presidential primary ballot? Any idea why? Well, the main reason uh, his folks would tell you is that they don't want New Hampshire to be first. They're reorganizing the primary setup, right? And they want South Carolina to be first, the president to very well in South Carolina. He almost ended his campaign in New Hampshire the last time around. He has terrible memories of New Hampshire. He doesn't want to go back there in that order again. However, New Hampshire, it's in their state constitution to be first. So we're still waiting. We're covering all these primaries, still waiting to find out what day that's going to be. Um, but there, there will be other candidates on that New Hampshire ballot. Um, RFK Jr. might have been the most prominent, but he's running as an independent now. And Dean Phillips, who has said it's time for Democrats to have a new candidate, Representative, uh, he, he may be on that ballot, so we're keeping an eye on that. You've got to keep an eye on it. Martha, thanks so much indeed. Thank